broken. Broken.
Stop it right now! <coughs> Stop right there! Stop right there. So I'll get you after all. <laughs> So I'll get you after all.
I'm gonna let you have it. I'll tear you apart. Just leave me alone, you rat fink. The rebels banned me from Namora. So you better just get out of my way. Wait a moment. I've seen you before. Almost everybody seems to know me here. Weren't you a paladin too? At any rate, you've gone into a battle against the orcs before. I can just tell from the way you look. Well, I am an experienced fighter. So I can imagine. My deeds aren't completely unheard of in this part of the land either. I think I could still teach you a thing or two. If only I hadn't lost my rune magic. Without it, I'm not half the man I used to be. What are you doing here? I'm waiting. For what? A good opportunity to make use of my fighting prowess once again. I've still got an account to settle, you know. What are your plans? Back in the war, I had a comrade in arms. His name was Kurt. He was a paladin like me. We fought for the king side by side. But when we lost the war, Kurt completely lost his mind. He started killing and robbing simple peasants. He was a completely changed man. Where is Kurt now? He has taken up company with the worst rabble in all of the Midlands. He and his gang have dug themselves in at the Pass to Verant. They attack everybody who dares to cross the pass. The rebel camp Namora is looking for new recruits. I actually had thought about joining the rebels. But first, I want to end what I started. What are you going to do with Kurt? I swore to myself that I would stop him. I just want to get close enough so I can kill him before he does even more damage. What do you know about the fire chalices? Hmm, not much. Only that the fire mages are looking for them. I think that Kurt once carried one of those things, but I may be mistaken. I see. The paladins are a thing of the past. Yep. It's a tragic story, all right. As soon as the rune magic left this world, the orcs descended on us like flies. We were so confused that many of us just up and ran. 
including me. That's probably the reason why I am still alive. Why did Kurt crack in the first place? He simply couldn't come to terms with our defeat. I tried to make him see reason, but in the end, he tried to kill me as well. Would you teach me how to fight? Let's take on Kurt together. See? This is just the opportunity I've been waiting for. Draw your weapon and follow me. It's going to be a bitter battle. You dare to strike me? Stop right there. is bigger than I thought. The Paladin Kurt is dead. Thank Enos. There must be no such thing as a renegade Paladin in the Midlands. Here, take my gold. My mission is now fulfilled. Now that we're here, I might as well show you the desert. 
Will you go to Namora now? Yes. I am going to become a rebel. Thank you for giving my life a new purpose, my friend. Take these healing potions from me. May they help you in battle. Fine. Show me the desert. It's not far from here. Follow me. Broken. Show you. Stop right there. broken. Will you look at that, my friend? Hot burning sand as far as the eye can see. That's no place for me in my metal armor. I prefer the more moderate climate of the Midlands. Wanderer, wait! Do not pass me by. You might be missing out on your luck. Greetings, traveler. Welcome to Varent, the great desert. You must be thirsty. Here, have a sip of cool water. Show me your...
tell me about the desert. The desert is a dangerous place. You will not get far without any water. Beyond the paths lurk nomads and wild beasts. I do not know which is worse. So, before you go off into the wilderness, get yourself a decent weapon. And of course, you need to carry enough water at all times. We Hashish and live in the cities. You will be safe there. Where can I get a weapon? Follow this path. It will take you directly to Braga. It is only a small village, but you cannot miss it. You will get everything you need there. Their water is not as fresh as what I can give you, of course. Of course. Tell me about your people. We Hashishin are a humble people, oppressed by Ino's scorching curse. The merciless sun lets almost nothing grow in this country. You could say that we live hand to mouth. Is that so? Naturally, there are some creature comforts, but those are reserved for Zubin and his black mages. Who is Zubin? Zubin is our great leader. He is ancient and possesses the power of Belia. We pay him tribute, and he keeps Belia's wrathful gaze away from us. And his warriors and black mages protect us from the nomads. Tribute? Gold and precious goods. We pay him so that no harm may befall us. I see. Move along, stranger. Marauding nomads are lurking everywhere around here. What are you doing here? I have been banished from my own city, from Braga. I was the boss there, but now Nafalem is sitting in my place. What happened? I collected the tribute for Zubin, but then the nomads ambushed me and stole everything. And that's why they kicked you out? Yes. I am lucky I'm still alive. Who is this Nafalem? One of Zubin's black mages. He came to get the tribute. Tell me about Zubin. Zubin is our great leader. He sits in the palace of Ishtar and bears the power of Beliar. We pay him tribute so that he keeps the wrathful gaze of Beliar from us. When the servant of Enos realized what was happening, he had the five divine artifacts brought into the temple, and the people of Verant perished. Staff and scepter sank down into the waters. Hey, welcome to Braga. I am Luca. Do you have anything to sell? I am inconsolable, but I cannot offer you any armor. All the hunters who worked for me are dead. They were caught in a nomad ambush. Maybe you should try the next city. Where is the next city? Benarai is to the east. Sancho holds the mining village tightly in his grip. There's always something to do there. And if you're tough enough, you could also try making your way to Morosul. The great slave fortress lies south of here. But the way is very perilous. A short break will do me good.
You aren't from here. Tell me, have you come to discover the secrets of Beliar? What sort of secrets? We black mages command magic spells of great power. We command the gift of the ancient divine magic. Ah, magic spells. And in the city of Ishtar, the art of two-handed fighting has been taught for many years. But only a man who makes good deals is worthy of learning our secrets. I want to offer you such a deal. What do you say? What is it? I am offering you the opportunity for a good deal, and you ask what is it? All I want to hear from you is that you're in. Sure, I'm in. Then listen. These men here owe tribute to Zuben. It's not as though they do not want to pay, but they managed to have it taken from them. What happened? Tufail, that son of a fool, let himself be robbed by a handful of nomads. But it is high time Zuben received what he is due. It is time for the merchants to pay. Therefore, they should all pay again. And you will handle this affair for me. I see. Do you have anything else that needs to be done? Ayla, the pearl of the city, has been abducted. I want her back. Discuss the details with Jose. Which men are on your list? The three merchants here in Braga. Each of them owes Suben 500 gold coins. And Abbas, the water vendor. I am expecting a chalice from him. Talk to him. He knows exactly what I want. And Tufail. What shall we do with Tufail? Hmm. It is his fault the tribute was stolen. I have already banished him from the city, but he is still in the vicinity. If he can pay, which I do not believe, he can live as far as I'm concerned. If not, make short work of him. That will serve as a warning to the others. Welcome, traveler. Welcome. I know why you are here, and you have come to exactly the right place. Oh, really? You have come to buy a superb weapon. And if you haven't, I have even more goods to offer. Take a look. Show. I will only sell you that once you have proven your worth. I've come to get your tribute. So, Tufail also said that some time ago, and I trusted him with my gold. And what did he do? He let a handful of nomads take it away from him. Does that mean you don't want to pay? That's the way it is, stranger. I already paid, and I won't pay another coin. I guess I'll have to beat the tribute out of you. You can try it. You are no challenge for me. There's <clears throat> going to be a fight. <clears throat> <clears throat> Oh, keep at it! Well done. Skull. How about it? Will you pay now? You leave me no choice, father of heavy blows. Welcome, traveler. I hope you leave some of your luck with us. I am Jose, the slave trader. If you are interested in work, I have got something for you. What do you know about Isla? Isla? She was the flower of Braga. What happened? It was a raid. Asaru and his tribe simply stole her away. No wonder they are no longer in the area. He's probably sitting in his camp right now, watching her dance, that son of a scoundrel. What do you have to offer me? The nomads keep attacking us. Several tribes are wreaking havoc around here. I will pay you a hefty bounty for each tribe leader that you kill. Who are the tribe leaders? Malir and Taklar are the leaders of these bands of raiders. They are ambushing travelers in the ruins. They are the same ones who attacked Tufail and stole our tribute. 
We have not seen hide nor hair of Asaru's tribe in a while. That is the way those nomads are. You never know where the bastards are hanging out. I have come to collect your tribute. Of course I will pay. Give my compliments to Nafalam. I have come to demand your tribute. Looks like you've come in vain, then. I haven't got a single coin. That's not my problem. Wait, let me propose you a deal. Like what? Bring me some dark leather, and I can make some armor for you. And in exchange, you want me to pay the tribute for you? I don't owe Zuban all that much, only 500 gold coins. Armor made by me is worth much more than that. I suppose I have no choice. All right, I agree. Thank you, son of judiciousness. You've struck a good bargain. I've come to collect your tribute. I would pay son of forbearance, but I am afraid that mere gold will not suffice. I promised Zubin my chalice, the chalice of water vendors. But of course, you no longer have it. I gave it to Tufael when he collected the tribute, but that son of a jinx allowed them to take it from him. I humbly beg of you, find the chalice and bring it to Nathalem. Where could the chalice be? The nomads have it. Their hideouts are nearby, within the fields of ruins. Nafalem sent me. Well, my pockets are empty. I don't have a single coin. But wait, before you kill me, let me suggest a deal. Let's hear it. Fight with me against Malor and his raiders. If we are victorious, you will have more gold than my life is worth. You can keep all of the loot we get. And then I'm supposed to let you go? And pay my tribute to Nathalem. That is my offer. All right. We will fight against the raiders. You will not regret this, son of Valor. I know where Mala and his raiders are hiding out. They have a cave here. We can go as soon as you are ready. Let's attack the nomads. Then forward into battle. is for Belia. Mala has been defeated. Good work. You take the loot and give it to Nafalem. He won't welcome me back to the city. But at least I won't die. What are you going to do next? I will go to Abbas, the water merchant. At least I won't die of thirst there.
I took care of Malor. I bow to your bravery, son of Peril. Take this gold as a reward for your deed. Here. This is from Tufail. What? That is... Be very careful. What? Hmm. I cannot imagine that he came up with the gold by himself. You should be careful, traveler. Generosity can be a great weakness, but tribute is tribute. Good. I accept the gold. Somebody is going to pay for this. I have the chalice of the water vendors. Ah. This chalice is worth a special token of my gratitude. I'll pay the tribute for Luca. I hope you at least made a good deal with him. Here is the tribute from Jose. I don't suppose he caused you any trouble. He is a good merchant. He sold slaves to all the orcs that came by. And the pass is the only way into the desert. Here is the tribute from Bernardo. He didn't give you any trouble, did he? Um, well, not really. How it's going to be. About... Yes, I am reasonably satisfied. I suppose there's nothing more to be had here. It is probably better if I stay here and keep the peace. As for you, I shall recommend you an Ishtar. Carry on like this, and you will soon be a friend of the Hashishin. Somebody is going to pay. What can you do for me? Since you have proven capable, I shall instruct you in the arts of magic. What you've got. Hey, Diego. What's up? I've been nosing around a bit. Looks like Zubin is still the undisputed ruler of the desert. Zubin? Maybe I should go pay him a visit. Hmm. That won't be so easy. Zubin is sitting tight in his palace in Ishtar. And they won't let you in unless they can be sure you're a friend of the Hashishin. So, what do I need to do? You will have to do a bit of work for the Hashishin. But it looks like there will be plenty to do. You should make friends with the Black Mages. They are the most influential group. What are you doing here in Braga? I was going to hunt for a while. Lucas says they have some dark snappers here. Their leather is suitable for the manufacture of armor. We could go together if you want. When that happens. Let's go hunting. Off we go. I'm not sure about this. You should be very careful. If I belly up. I can smell those snappers already.
beast. This is a dangerous place. I wouldn't be surprised if nomads were hiding out here somewhere. What are you going to do next? Well, to tell you the truth, I have no big plans. I was thinking I may just hunt a bit and line my pockets with gold. You are the one who knows what needs to be done. And if you need me, we can tackle things together. Here's the leather. I found some more armor in the camp. You can have it. May it protect you well at all times.
I have done away with Taklar. You have earned the bounty, then. Well, look who's here. Who are you? Don't you remember? I am Riordian, the Water Mage. We... Oh, never mind. Let's not rehash old stories. What are you doing here? I wonder that myself. It isn't safe here in any case. And what are you looking for here? Actually, I'm looking for ancient knowledge. Stone tablets, artifacts, anything that the Ancient Ones left behind. Where are the other water mages? Satyrus made it to the ancient temple city of Al Shadim. He is certain that one of the divine artifacts is there. Medarian and a tribe of nomads have set out for the temple of Morasul, and Nefarious is far to the northwest. He is on the trail of an ancient legend. I don't know anything about the others. What are you planning now? I want out of here. I've got raiders behind me, and a shishin in front. This is not a good place to look for stone tablets. But there is a nomad hideout in the cliffs to the west. Azaru's tribe is staying there. They have discovered a couple of ancient inscriptions. The way is dangerous. I could use your help. What exactly do you water mages have to do with the nomads? We are one people. And before King Robar sent us to the island of Carinus, we roamed the land of our fathers together. Why did you answer the king's call? Well, Nordmar and Mertana were being fought over. The orcs conquered one city after another. We believed we could end the war with the ore from the island. Well, that came to nothing. No, the war of the gods now rages worse than ever before. Because it is close to being decided. All right. I'll accompany you to Azaru. I know the way. So follow me.
This is all your fault. I can't give you much, but if you like, I will share my knowledge of the ancient magic with you. You're keeping dangerous company, Traveler. Wouldn't be the first time. There are only two reasons why you should be here. There are. Either you want my head, or you intend to join us. What exactly do you mean by join? We need someone who has access to the cities. With your help, we could prepare for battle against the Hashishin. Then we will free Braga. All right. Let us cooperate. A wise decision. Listen then. The clans of the Nomads have left the path of tranquility. We are now traveling on the path of combat. Some clans have succumbed to the wrath of Beliar. They roam the land, murdering and pillaging, never distinguishing between friends and enemies. Beware of these people. What am I supposed to do? Bring Isla back to Braga. Nafala must be pining away for her already. This will make him careless. He's going to think that we are dead. Talk to the others before you go. They will tell you what remains to be done. Would you... We will attack Braga. Braga is a good bit from here. Before we attack, we'll assemble in the Fields of Ruins. Make sure the Fields of Ruins are secure. So, are you our new man? Looks that way. Then we finally have a chance to free Braga. But before we attack, we still need to make a few preparations. What do you need? We need better weapons. Get us three bundles of weapons. Then we will take the risk. Before that, forget it. Where do I get three bundles of weapons? The merchant Bernardo deals in weapons. We know that he secretly supplies the feuding tribes. Maybe you can find something with him. What do you do here? The Hashishans store a lot of treasures in their cities. Silver, gold, bring me everything you find. I'll give you a good price for it. What do you do with the junk? We take it back to their cities and sell it to them again. Can you enter their cities? Ha! No nomad can enter a city of the Hashishan. But many of the slaves are nomads. They funnel the stuff back into the cities. And there, the merchants pay for their own stuff all over again. If you want to know how to really fleece a merchant, I could show you a few tricks. Here are the bundles of weapons. Very good. With these, we can risk an attack. Talk to Azaru when you're ready to attack Braga. Sure. Not yet. First, prove that you are worthy.
I'll take you out of here. Good. Waiting. Sure. I'll take good.
This is all your own fault. I hate the beasts. Wait! What is it? I want to make you an offer. You freed Isla. I will give you 500 gold coins for her. She is free. What else do you want? No. I take them back myself. Whatever you say. Somebody is going to pay for this. I will bring Isla back. Excellent. She will sweeten my nights with her dancing. I assume that Azaru will pose no more problems for us. Asaru is no longer an issue. Good. Then go take care of something else. Here, hand out a little gold. Then that's how it's going to be. I can only hope so. I'm not sure about this. I think something's bound to happen soon. Everybody needs to pay tribute.
I am Sancho. I can't use any more guards, and you don't look like a slave. So what do you want? Do you have work for me? I'm already paying enough people to stand around doing nothing. But if you want real work, then I've got something for you. What do you have for me to do? I have not had a word from our tunnel in Largo for ages. Fabio's gold deliveries have not arrived. Something is not right. Go to Largo, take a look around. Where is Lago? Lago is northeast of here. It's just a couple of huts on the coast. You couldn't even call it a tiny village. But at least they have a tunnel there. And I'm not getting any more gold from there, damn it all! Do you have anything else for me to do? Hmm. 
Yes, actually. I am worried about my men. Being that close to gold will make anyone weak eventually. So talk to them and keep your ears open. If anyone acts suspicious, then tell me. Welcome to Banirai. I bet you haven't come to break your back working, right? Well, now. Friend, this city is a treasure chest, albeit a well-guarded one. If you want to chat about gold for a while, bring me some first. What's your job here? I started out just like you. However, that was a long time ago. I toured the arenas for a while, but that wasn't really my cup of tea. Now, I'm standing guard here. It may not be very lucrative, but I know a lot about what's going on. Let's have a little chat. Fine. There are basically three ways to get your hands on the gold. Either you swing a pickaxe, you go up against everybody at once, or you use stealth. What if I want to swing a pickaxe? Then you're a greater idiot than I thought. <laughs> because first, you need to earn access to the tunnels. But hey, if that's what you want, I've still got a pickaxe I could sell you. Show me. What if I want to take on everyone at once? You're a strong fellow, and I'm no wimp myself. I also know a few slaves who would surely fight with us, but you should be well prepared. So look around for a while and get an overview. What exactly do you mean by stealth? You must have nimble fingers, and you had better wait until everyone's asleep. I can show you how to get to the chests, but it'll cost you. Lucar is after your gold. Is he really? That thief creeps in here and... Good work. And now make sure that the fellow disappears from my city. Sancho sent me. You better get out of Benarai. I can't believe it. You sold me out, you filthy swine. No, I won't go. You will go instead. Directly to Beliar. Your history. <laughs> It's been a long time since I ate. Hey, I'm Eusebio. The alchemist, I presume. And distiller of top-notch moonshine. Whatever you need, I can get you anything. Show me your goods. Can you teach me something? Sure. Brewing potions is my business, and I have a recipe for some really fierce booze. But before you can have that, you must bring me ten cactus blossoms. Here are your cactus blossoms. Oh, good. I almost thought I would have to walk all the way and get them myself. Here's the recipe for you. 
Tell me about the city. Man, we're sitting right here on a gold vein, and there is not a nugget in it for me. How I would love to creep round here at night and empty all the chests. Why don't you? Are you nuts? I'm glad when I can drag my belly out of bed in the mornings. Eusebio is acting suspicious. Eusebio is a bum. He chops up grass and distills booze. Maybe he's guzzled too much of his own stuff. Whatever. Leave him alone. We need him. Followed the call of the gold too. I am Vasco, steward of Benerai. Do you have work for me? Crawlers keep coming from the west. Recently, the beasts have ventured rather close to us. Too close. They've already eaten a couple of slaves. I want you to deal with them, especially those tough beasts. They must have a nest somewhere. The crawlers are history. Did you take out the whole nest? Well, I flattened everything that was running around. All right. Here is your pay. Just what does a steward do? I take care of the slaves, count the gold, organize the guards, everything that needs to be done. I'm sure you've still got things to do. Don't bother me. Hey you, where do you think you're going? Well, I thought I'd take a look around. Yeah, I know. But you aren't fooling me. You're here because you're hot for some quick gold. They have a mine in Benarai. There must be something there I can get my hands on, right? But you won't set foot in the tunnels, got it? In any case, not until you make yourself useful first. Let me tell you, I don't like you. So I'm going to keep an eye on you. Go to Sancho and let him give you work. Otherwise... Otherwise what? Otherwise, I'll have to assume that you're only here to steal the gold. And I wouldn't want to be in your shoes then. So you'd better hurry up. So, I see you've made yourself useful. Carry on then. If you need training, come to me. I'll do some more work. Don't forget, I'm keeping an eye on you. What are you doing here? I'm guarding the gold and making sure every passing stranger doesn't start digging. The only thing that matters to you is that I'm guarding the gold. Got it? No. We do not... We... And now for a smoke.
What are you doing here? The great temple in Ben Sala has been raided. The artifacts were stolen. Dalek ordered me to find the artifacts. What? You think there are artifacts here in Lago? No, Mora. But there's a man here who might know something about them. Who would that be? Fabio has a Mora locked up. If he knows anything, he will tell us. You know a thing or two about fighting, don't you? Enough so that I can teach you a little, Mora. Which... What do you want here? Have you lost your way? Only slaves or raiding nomads will come here. And you don't look at all like a slave. And you? What are you doing in these backwaters? Me? I'm the boss here. All right, my boys may not really be the cream of the crop. I have a few guards, an orc, and a gladiator who is always stoned. But damn it, we grow the best swamp weed in the entire desert. And I have a gardener. Does Zubin have a gardener? Or King Robar? I don't think so. I get it. How are things? We've been assaulted. How do you think things are? Calm once more? Yes, but it's a treacherous calm. The nomads were led by Shakyor, and I bet he is still somewhere in the vicinity. Have you got something like an arena? Sure, we dug a pit just for that. If you want to fight, come talk to me. What do you know about this Shakur fellow? The slaves call him the Lion. Some claim he isn't even human, but a man-beast, a druid. And what do you believe? I have seen him fight, and I say he's a raider. Yes, he had a lion by his side, but that doesn't make him invincible. What should we do about Shakur? As long as he's nearby, we won't get a good night's sleep. He needs to disappear, preferably for good. Sancho sent me. Did he now? And what does the bloated swine want? He wants to know where his gold is. Have you had a look inside the tunnel? What happened? The nomads have taken all the slaves. And without any slaves, there won't be any gold. Hmm. I will let him know. Yes, do that. If he wants his gold, let him swing a pickaxe himself. I want to fight in the arena. Fine. You can fight against Grubas or Mamuk. Then I want to... No, it doesn't work that way. You will take on Mamuk first. After that, you get to face Grubas. Let me fight against Mamuk. Fine. Be my guest. But I wonder whether Mamuk is even up to it. Ever since Rasul started growing that weed, he's been permanently stoned. Oh, well. A few good wax can't hurt him. Do your best to drag him to the arena. What are you guarding here? There is no need for you to know. I... No. But... No way. You have a prisoner. Exactly. I have a prisoner. And as long as I've got the key, nobody will talk to him. Who is your prisoner? He poses a great risk. And no, I won't tell you who my prisoner is. Too many people know already. Now stop asking me about things that are none of your business. Do you know who the prisoner is? Prisoner? 
We have a prisoner! Forget it. How's business? Gentle greetings, my friend. How can Sibonara help you? The knowing one. The finder among seekers. Everything all right? Everything is fine. The sun is warm and the sand is dry. Life could not be better. Do you want to buy? Good old Sibba has all sorts of things to offer. Have you been smoking something? Don't say things like that. Consider it consciousness expanding meditation. You would not believe how everything becomes so simple all at once. The significance of small in the large, the large in the small. Have you? Yes. Hmm. Do you want some? Oh, it is really good stuff, oh, world twisting friend. I saw a boatyard outside of your house. Do you also build boats? No, no, no. That has become much too taxing for me. I prefer to inhale a bit of weed and build in my head. Recently, I was so stoned. I dreamed of a really ingenious boat. I had to draw it right away. Can I have the drawing? Hey, man. Huh. That's my invention. I'm not going to just give it away. Can I convince you somehow? Hmm. I might have an idea. Bring me five furs from the White Wolves. I think they have those in Nordmar. Hmm. You're joking, right? <sighs> furs? In the desert? And then from Nordmar? Sure, friend. You have no idea. <laughs> Have you ever stretched out naked on a fur and had a little smoke? You really have to try it. It's uh, like flying. I've tried it with lots of different furs. I'm still missing those from White Wolves. Oh, do we have a deal? I brought you the furs, so you better give me the drawing now. Hey, relax. Here, have a smoke first. Old Sibor keeps his promises. Trust me, oh son of distrustfulness. What's going on in Lago? Since Rasul has been here, weed has been growing everywhere. Otherwise, talk to Fabio. But be careful with him. He's really uptight. What are you growing here? Swamp weed, stranger. Pure, fine swamp weed. Here, take a sample. I also sell packages. That stuff is in demand. So do not pass up a chance to take some with you. Anybody who has had a taste will pay a fortune for it. Shut I thought swamp weed grew in swamps. Yeah, everybody thinks that. But take a look around. It grows faster than I can smoke it. The conditions are ideal. Lots of sun, fresh breezes. That makes the pollen unbelievably fine. I manage a harvest every couple of weeks. That is, if the blood flies or the nomads do not get into it. Blood flies like swamp weed? Hey. Apparently the damn things know what's good. They have already screwed up a couple of my harvests. You know quite a bit about plants. Not just that. I also know quite a bit about potions. I used to live in Benarai. Eusebio taught me a lot. Tea.
The blood flies are finished. Then my next harvest is safe. Here, take a package of swamp weed, father of relaxation. Do you know anything about the prisoner? Hey now, that is a really uptight question. So, what do you know? All I know is that Fabio does not want any trouble. That is why he does not want anybody blabbing about it. So, you don't know anything. Hey now, what do you think? I am the gardener here, not the torturer. What do you know about the nomads? Those bombs! They freed the slaves and stole my harvest. I mean, sure, I can understand that, but a couple of them trampled right through my plants. Bums. Why didn't they free you? Free me? And who would take care of the plants if I were not here? No, I am not going anywhere. There is enough here for me to do. What? What is it? Do you know who the prisoner is? Who? Me? Uh... No, I know nothing. Come on, I won't tell anyone. Hey, man, I may be smoking too much, but I am not an idiot. What do you want for the name? You know there is nothing you could... Wait a minute. Didn't Fabio want me to... Mm, what was that again? Cut down on smoking? Ah, now I remember. I was supposed to take care of the lurkers on the coast. So bring me a few lurker skins and claws. Let's say, ten of each. I can show them to Fabio, and you'll get the name. Agreed? Where can I find the lurkers? On the coast. Just walk along the coast for a bit. There are plenty of those beasts there. Oh, and one more thing. Bring me all the trophies at once, or I'll forget how many you already gave me. What are you doing here? As little as possible. Why would I want to do anything? Man, there's swamp weed growing everywhere here. It's a dream come true. What? Cut. Where on? Here are your lurker trophies. <laughs> Thanks, man. You got what it takes. Yeah. Now, tell me what you know. What would you say if I don't even know the name? Then I would say nothing at all. I would hurt you. Very, very badly. Just kidding, man. The prisoner is one of the water mages. He's pretty old, and his name is Vetris. So now you know. See? That wasn't so hard. But be careful. If Fabio finds out, he'll get us both. What are you doing here? As little as possible. Why would I want to do anything? Man, there's swamp weed growing every... The two of us are going to fight in the arena. What? Arena? Say, wouldn't you rather have a smoke? You've smoked quite enough already. Hey, stay calm, father of vegetation.
come on. You'll get a reefer if you win. <laughs> you know what? Whenever I want a smoke, I simply pick some weed. Come on, get moving. You've never been really stoned, huh? If you don't want to enter the arena, we'll simply beat each other up right here. All right, all right, I'm coming. I'm so stressed out. Show me what you Gave Mamuk a thrashing. But wait, did you even pay for this fight? Um, well, not really. Damn it. I just keep forgetting that. No wonder they stuck me out here in these backwaters. I won't let that happen again. I know who your prisoner is. Really? And who do you think he is? Vatris, the water mage. Oh, great. And how do you know that? It was written on an old stone tablet. <laughs> Very funny. Get lost and make yourself useful for a change. I want to fight against Grubas. Hey, this orc is our guest, and I shelled out a lot to make sure he would stay here. If you really manage to defeat him, that will cost me even more, and you are going to pay for that. Does that mean I can't win anything here? But of course you can win something. A whole package of premium swamp weed. I want to go up against Grubas. Fine, but you arrange that with him directly. And remember, I still need the fellow. Man, my skull aches. Are you happy now? It was a good fight. Yes, for one of us anyway. I'm gonna go light down for a bit. Let us fight in the arena. Is that really what you want, Mora? I paid for it. You paid for me to knock you around? Such idiocy cannot go unpunished. Let us fight. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! 